So in this video I'm going to show you how to slightly offset the animations of multiple game objects that share the same animation. If you have a group of game objects in Unity that are all using the same animation and they only have one animation state, you'll find that when you start the game, the animations will all start in the same place. So um, you can see here I've got a bunch of game objects that are all moving up and down slightly. And the way we're going to fix this is we're going to use this animator.play. This is in the Unity documentation if you want to have a look. So let's go ahead and create our script. So I'm going to go to the gaming object that I want to randomize the animation for. I'm going to select the object that has the animator component. Then we're going to add a new script. So I would call it random animation. Okay, so we have a new script. We won't need the update function, so we can remove that. So first we want a reference to our um, animator. So I'll set a reference to the animator component, I'll just call it anim, and then we'll want a float, which will be our offset uh, value. So this is effectively what's going to set the um, start position for the animation to a random value, and the function we're going to use will take a random value between 1 and uh, 0. So I'll call that offset, random offset. Um, and then in the start function, what we are going to do is, first of all, set the um, and in reference to our animator component, so get component, get the animator, and then we're going to use random.range to set that random offset variable that we've created that float to a value between 0 and 1. So we're random and 0 and 1. And then the actual part that's going to set the randomness of the animation will go and we'll use or access the animator. And then we'll use dot play. And then this will take in, um, first of all, the name of the animation. So it's the string name. So mine's called Distant Balloon. So you make sure you get that correct. We can go in here and copy the name out. And it is a string. So we'll. We can also um, serialize this so you can set it to um, the same script to be used on multiple objects with different animation names. Uh, it'll take in a layer, we'll just set that to zero, don't need to worry about that for now. And then we're gonna set that random offset value that we've set up here. Like I said, you can just use uh, this part in here, but just to break it down so you can see what's happening. So we're setting the animation state the layer, again, just ignore that for now, and then that random offset value. So if we save this, and then if we go back to our scene, and we've just set it on this balloon here, but if I press play, you can see that one is offset to the rest. So what I'll do now is add the same script to all of the other balloons that I've got in here. There you go, there's my random animation script that we just made. And then if I hit play again and we'll maximize this so you can see, all of those balloons will have a slightly random offset to the animation. There you go, so it looks a lot more natural, a lot more organic, uh, and they're all moving seemingly of their own. There we are.